In this podcast, I will discuss the imaging manifestations of cirrhosis and its complications. Cirrhosis is the result of hepatic fibrosis. And on imaging, we typically see surface nodularity and a heterogeneous liver parenchyma. Cirrhosis can result in portal hypertension due to increasing resistance to portal vein blood flow. That portal hypertension will manifest on imaging as splenomegaly, the development of varices, and ascites. Cirrhosis is also the primary risk factor for the development of hepatocellular carcinoma. When evaluating a patient for cirrhosis, the first thing we will look for is surface nodularity along the liver. The liver surface typically is smooth and does not have any waviness or nodularity to it. In these cases, we can see a wavy liver surface or a nodular liver surface. We also look at the liver parenchyma, and in these cases, the liver parenchyma is very heterogeneous. Normally, the liver parenchyma is homogeneous or uniform throughout. We can also identify in certain patients ascites, which indicates portal hypertension, and we can also evaluate the spleen for splenomegaly, which is another secondary sign of portal hypertension. Here are some examples of cirrhotic livers and normal livers on CT, MRI, and ultrasound. In the cirrhotic livers, we can see surface nodularity and a heterogeneous texture to the liver parenchyma. We can also detect ascites in a few of the cases. Compare those to the normals on the other side where the liver parenchyma looks very smooth and there is no surface nodularity. Patients with cirrhosis often develop portal hypertension. Portal hypertension can manifest in a number of different ways. On imaging, we look for ascites or free fluid within the peritoneal cavity. We also look for the presence of an enlarged spleen, commonly referred to as splenomegaly. Some patients will also develop a right pleural effusion related to their portal hypertension. The most life-threatening manifestation of portal hypertension are paraesophageal or paragastric varices. As the portal hypertension worsens and pressure within the varices increase, these varices can rupture into the esophagus or stomach resulting in massive gastrointestinal bleeding. Another complication of hepatic cirrhosis is hepatocellular carcinoma. Patients who have underlying cirrhosis have a high risk of developing hepatocellular carcinoma. When we are performing ultrasound, MRI, or CT in patients with known cirrhosis, we are carefully looking for the development of masses that could indicate hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatocellular carcinoma is unique in that we can confidently make a diagnosis of hepatocellular carcinoma based on imaging alone. Hepatocellular carcinoma presents with arterial enhancement, washout, and pseudocapsule. Washout means a decreased enhancement relative to background liver on delayed phased imaging, and pseudocapsule refers to this capsule-like appearance around the tumor within the liver. In summary, cirrhosis is the result of hepatic fibrosis and manifests as surface nodularity and heterogeneous liver parenchyma. Cirrhosis can be complicated by portal hypertension, which is often evident by splenomegaly, ascites, and varices. Hepatocellular carcinoma typically arises in cirrhotic livers, and we can confidently make a diagnosis of hepatocellular carcinoma when we see arterial enhancement, washout, and pseudocapsule in a cirrhotic liver.